Parker, my name is Evan Greenhill. Okay, and uh, Ricky Meyer. Okay, so you both voted here today? Yes. Just gonna see, see both of you. And can I ask you how you voted? Uh, like. Like, yeah, who, who are you for? I mean, uh, we voted Democrat down Democratic down the line. Democratic Letitia James is Cuomo. Yeah. We're rooting for Cuomo. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was wondering, you know, the ballot is, has many, many uh, spaces to fill, like 10 people to vote for. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you make sense out of that? I mean, I just. <laughs> Um, you do your, do, yeah, you do your research beforehand. New York City is really good about giving us, um, they put things in the mail like about a week or two ago okay. um, for just kind of last minute stuff. It just gives us um, brief background. kind of background yeah. information on um, a lot of the ballot initiatives or the candidates or stuff like that. So, you know, we try to make sure we read up beforehand so that okay. we know what's on the ballot before we get in there so it's not a surprise and it's not confusing at all. Okay. Yeah. And you always voted for the midterms elections, elections two years ago and four years ago? You know what? Not all. I've always voted in elections. I've not always voted in midterms, but I felt very, very, very compelled to vote in this particular this midterm. One? Absolutely. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Um, because I'm very, very frustrated with the current administration and okay. what's been happening. And you realize that voting is so important. To knowing how small the margin was with voters in the last election, uh -huh. it made it so that every vote matters, no matter okay. where you are, who you are, or what state you're voting in. So. And is there a particular issue that mattered to you in this campaign, you know, that, I don't know, drove you to <laughs> get out and vote? Um, it's funny, it's not a, I, I wouldn't say there's one particular, it, it's sort of a collection of okay. uh, all different things. I mean, I think like human rights, equal rights, you know, um, fair wages, everything like that, that, that's, that matters to all people equally. That, that, that means more to me than anything else. And do you think say. that people will turn out and vote? I hope so. The turnout is rated so low. I mean, usually it's, it's uh, rated so low, but the the the, um, the early voting and the vote by mail apparently is already breaking records. Yeah, yeah. So I'd like to think that it, the voter turnout will be a lot better than anticipated. Your friends, your family, everybody's okay. voting. You know, everybody's yeah, voting. Everybody's, you know, everybody's voting. voting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank For you. sure. Bye. Lindsay and, and Chris Paddleborn. So you live in the neighborhood, right? Yes. So pure New Yorkers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, so. yeah. Okay. And what drove you out today to vote? Um, need for change. Need for change. Yeah. Change. Doing our duty, honestly. Do you always vote? Yes, I have been, I've been voting. Two years ago, four years ago. Since I was eighteen, so I'm thirty-five now. So. Okay. Well, that's uh, impressive. Yeah. <laughs> and can I ask you, you know, how, how you voted today? How we voted? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I shouldn't say who you voted for. But. Yeah, Democrats. <laughs> Democrats. The neighborhood all is Democrats, right? Yeah. 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 So we would love the love yes. Democrats to see the change, and that can only change if the Senate and the House change. Um, and by voting with our pockets as well. So. Yeah, really we don't. In supporting businesses. This way. It starts from the bottom. Yeah, we don't just vote at the polls. You vote every day with yeah. uh, who you choose to. Uh, Patronize here in the neighborhood and in the community as a whole. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you know, you choose, you vote every day um, by whom, what, what businesses you support and who you choose not to support as well. Okay, so you like tax policy and this kind of issues uh, are you referring to or like more local Oh, I was issues? referring to uh, how we shop, for example, like what businesses we support. So, so, yeah, tax policy is important. So what, what do you support? You mean like local businesses? Yes, and absolutely, local businesses. Okay. Staying away from Whole Foods, for example, is a, is a beneficial boon for the neighborhood. Keeps, oh, okay. it keep, yeah, it keeps that money in uh, the hands of small business owners. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. And, um, uh, you know, uh, was there a particular issue in this campaign that, you know, struck you or mattered to you? This campaign, um, we well, mostly voting years. for, for yeah, it's, representatives it's, for this one. There was no uh, yeah, issue no necessarily, so just getting as many Democrats in as at the, this moment is kind of the goal. Uh, yeah, I, I would think say. a lot of this election is a referendum on the Republican Party, yeah. unfortunately. Um, while I would like to vote across party lines, I'm only voting within party lines because of. Uh, the policies of the Republican Party this year. Can I ask you what, what, what your jobs are? What do you work? And what kind of yeah. job you do? Uh, I'm a dancer for a Broadway show. Okay. Yeah. And I'm a software engineer for uh, iHeartRadio. For? iHeartRadio. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Thank